everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness and we are continuing on part four of the 29 pound humongous box from Goodwill.com. I would highly recommend going through our earlier parts. This box has been phenomenal. I'm still convinced either someone had a shop or they cleaned out a counter at a Goodwill or something because we have had bags filled with uh, matched earrings, bags with random little stuff, coins. We've even had a few screws. So I don't know if somebody dumped uh, like a kitchen drawer. I'm not sure, but this box has been absolutely fabulous. So we are um, gonna continue on and see what goodies we have now. All right, the miss has taken a few more things out of the box. See, this is with tags. Life is life, life of balance. This was $5.99, then it uh, was clearance $2.99. These look like those rubber beads. That's interesting. Ooh, that is heavy. And I see a mark. Cold Water Creek. That's some nice heavy stuff. Like the colors. I'm ready for fall. This would be fabulous for that. We okay, this is the second one. Except this one is in way better shape. See here, hang on, I still have it from the other part. So this one looks like it has seen a little bit better days. And this looks like a little bit smaller newer version. These, I love these. This is fabulous. Obviously they cared enough to bag it. So he's going to go over here with our bagged items. All right, let's see what this guy is. He looks like part of a little charm bracelet. I see some marks. Let us see. Okay, well, this little shoe charm says 925 on it. Hold on. The little tree says 925. Our little barn says nothing. So we have this cute little barn with this cute little palm tree. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to be on camera at all. This cute little palm tree who's got the little, I don't know if you can see it. 925 right there and then it has this darling little high heel shoe which says 925 on it it's kind of a random little lot of charms I'm wondering if there were more on here but that's adorable we will hang on to that okay wood jewelry doesn't tend to be my thing but I'm digging this inlaid huge wooden bead right here and with these carved beads that is I think that's very stunning nice we have seen a little bit of everything with this box okay these are stretchy these are like um, you know little kid beads Let's stick that in our little kid area Oh, we had something similar. Oh, it's got one busted off. Something similar to this in our last box. But this, this is, um, this missing one. Again, we'll look in the bottom of the box. You never know what's down there. We have found miscellaneous stuff like nobody's business. A little barrel clasp. Colorful wooden beads. Okay. And this looks like he belonged to somebody. Just a little choker. These are little bangles. This one looks like it's got the little inlay. He's not magnetic, he's probably aluminum. This one is definitely magnetic. Let's see what we got. Wow. A mark. Little, okay, these guys have definitely 
little mine of their own. This has that brass, aged brass look to it. Very lightweight. What is this? This looks like a much older piece. Uh, little seed pearls in the stations as well as little rhinestones. Uh, looks like looks like we could be missing one or two here or there. I love the little bit older pieces. Let's see. Yeah, these earrings maybe. I mean they have a little bit different gold. But the little miss likes this group together. They look very similar. Nice. Let me put this guy over here. Be careful with him. Okay, it looks like somebody was trying to sell this for $4. This is... Um, mm -hmm. White House Black Market. Alright. He's a little tangled. Not too bad. Here we go. These look like glass beads, uh, faceted. That's a nice group. I will put him on this side. Very inexpensive, lightweight. It's like aluminum chain. This looks like a one of those friendship bracelets that maybe somebody started, or they were just working with seed beads. Either way, it's a nice pattern. I don't know how to do it, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to finish that, but somebody might. Okay, what is it? Honey, can you get this open for me? That is way too small for me to open. That is a teeny little thing. Okay, well he needs a... This says... Lucy Lou Designs. And it looks like... I don't know, maybe that's supposed to be Alice in Wonderland with a really long neck? I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look. We will have to do some research and figure out what that is. Thank you, honey. What is this? Oh, cute. These are little, these are little wiener dog earrings. Like, like little dash hounds. I don't know if that's gonna come through. How cute! Hey, a hair. Let me get that out of my neck. How cute are these? Oh. Let's see, to me, they feel like acrylic. I don't think they're. They could be glass, but they are so. Um, this guy is missing his ear. Oh. Okay. Well, we're missing. You know what? I bet they are glass then. This poor little guy's missing his ears. Well, maybe somebody will overlook that. You know, they won't care if he's missing ears. Or I'll put him on our little teeny, teeny Christmas tree because those are totally adorable. All right. And we love seeing things in bags. I can tell already this is beautiful just from the bag. Ooh, that is heavy. Okay, well, this is from the back. You can definitely, it's a pin. Look at that. He's more modern. You know, you can tell with the little lines of construction. Don't see a mark offhand. And doing a quick glance, it looks like all of his rhinestones are there. I love that. Okay, let's put him over here. This feels like, um, feels like rubber. Kind of like that comp that composite material on a little cord. Okay. And this is one of those multi-strand leather bracelets with the little charms. Little stretchy, not too much. These are glass beads. Nice. Nice shimmer on those. Very nice. Little seed bead, cheapy necklace. 
Um, these feel like those rubber boots again. With a little charm. It doesn't look like anything's marked, but nice, nice colors. Okay, these guys, ugh, these guys are difficult to store. They don't like to be together with anything. These necklaces with the floating pieces, these things stick on everything and everything sticks to them. I usually try to put them in bags by themselves. So they have the nice weight going on, but I'm gonna put them a little farther away so he doesn't want to be with everybody. Uh, no, that's not stretching. This is glass bead, and these feel like kind of like plastic beads. Okay. This is two strand. These feel like glass. These guys feel like plastic. So a couple of different materials in here. Love the color. I'm, again, I'm ready for fall. I'm, I'm ready. I am so ready. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of tangled business going on here. You know what? I'm, you get the gist. I'm not going to waste your time here as I said. I'm untangling. Unless somebody's into that kind of thing, you should see some of the tangles we've had so far. I could do a three hour video untangling things. Um, these are glass. These feel like mm, really lightweight. And then these are the little tiny, tiny rhinestones all over these little balls. That is a beautiful, beautiful necklace. Uh, we've had these, tons of little seed beads. I uh, wouldn't imagine how to make this. Uh, this is by NY. And these feel like stone. So we have some floating stone beads. Those are nice. Again, they don't play nice with others. Wow, that is heavy. Okay, either this is a crystal pendant or someone took a chandelier crystal and made it into a pendant. But either way, it has a nice finding. And this has that champagne diamond look. It doesn't have that um, clear white look. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, multi-strand seem to be um, the theme we've had going. What is, do we have two things? Oh, this is one. Oh, this is the trailer. Okay, here we go. So we have the multi-strands down here. And then look how much you could add to the length. So you could make this as long as you want. That is, it's a nice piece. It's got a nice feel to it. I am surprised with the oversized clasp. I'm surprised we don't have a maker on that. Ooh, that is heavy. Looks like we have some floral motif. I'm not sure. If this is baked on a metal, but that is beautiful. Colors, really nice. Okay, these, these look like almost like hieroglyphics or 18K GP. So I'm going to say this bracelet is gold plated. That is very interesting. Let's put that over there. We'll have to take a closer look at that guy. Oh, we're missing a clasp. So we could fix it. These look like very tiny little glass beads. So that could be something in our fix pile. Angles. Okay, these guys are sticking like crazy. We will double check them as we always do. Viacom International, uh, this looks like turtle power. Da, da, da. Okay. A little stretchy fashion bracelet with a little 
fabric flower. These are some nice glass beads. They have green and blue inlaid into the glass. Nice. Loving that. Loving the, oh, he's broken. Okay, I'll have to fix him. Okay, so we have, you can see a mark there. These are lavender glass beads. These have little flowers in them, or it doesn't feel like on them, it feels like in them. And these opaque glass beads. But the very end, we're missing the other part of the clasp here. So, another one to fix. Order, and we harvest these beads. Those are absolutely beautiful. Are we starting to end up in Tangleville over there? Uh, this is kind of mixed. Uh, looks like we're missing an end. No, no, no. Okay, it's magnetic. He has just come on. Yeah, we're missing something here at the end. Looks like seed beads with a little bit of glass. And then this looks like a stone. So those almost look like grapes. So we'll look at that. Maybe I can fix him. We'll see. Always try. He is, what is this? Bracelet. Maybe a, that has to be a bracelet or that is too tiny to be anything else. So it looks... Yeah, it looks like a bracelet. Put that over there. Okay, this is kind of like that nesting box thing. Oh my goodness, all right. Okay, so these are, this is a charm. And this is a charm, so two little Rose gold charms. Okay, I see a little tag. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And, oh, nice tangle. Okay, well, let's see where the tag is. Eight, eight something R? Eight zero R? Like 80 R? That is a new one for me. So I'm going to say these two go with this. I mean, it's the same color. And he's kind of tangled. Hopefully he's not broken. This kind of worries me with these two ends here. All right, just hang with me. Uh, let's look. Let's see what happens here. I think I'm making it worse. Hold the fan. Oh, no, no. Okay, he's multi-layer, and this, so here are the, the layers, and then this is the long layer where they are hooked together, and it, it's kind of like that little tassel -y look. All right, with these two chains, with the two little charms, you know what, I'm not here, honey, I'm going to give these to you, I'm never going to get these back in this bag, with the two charms, so that's kind of interesting. This looks like a little tiny chair with, okay, so the charm is a little chair with a rhinestone for a cushion, and these are a little stretchy, and they feel like, like plastic. Interesting, thank you, honey. Um, this is a little... bracelet with a little cross. Hmm, not magnetic. I don't see a mark, but we'd have to check him out just in case. This little guy is a little cord and that's most likely faux turquoise. Kid bracelet. This, however, is not is this? Okay, well, we have a tag. Let's find out who it is. Cookie Lee. 
Okay, this has got the toggle clasp. What are these? Oh, they're shoes. Okay, these look like enameled flats. This is an enameled heart. So yeah, we have flats and hearts. Those are cute. Oh, I love this. That is so whimsical. And they have the little pink random beads also attached. I love that. Okay, now I've started my own tangle. Okay, well we have this. What is this? All right, this is a little charm bracelet. Like it says something. Let's see. This is bluebirds. So the little cute letters spell out bluebirds. I don't see. Don't see a mark. Cute. Okay, somebody wanted five dollars for this shell and those glass pearls. Nice blue. It's a very beachy blue for sure. Uh, kid bangle. I doubt yet. either of these. Hmm. I shouldn't say anything yet, huh? Okay. Now, neither one of these, I highly doubt this one's silver. This is just way too heavy. This one, the fact that it's bent, I mean, it definitely could be silver overlay. Those would both be them over there to be tested, just to make sure. Looks like a strand of older glass pearls. They're starting to lose their luster. I don't know how this clasp works, if it is one. Oh, there it goes. I have never seen this clasp. This little barrel with just this little pin. And it has a little tag. Okay, I don't know who this is. I'll have to look this up. It is a little cursive, looks like a little cursive D. But unfortunately, these are losing some of their luster and some of their color. So um, I'll clean them up and we'll see what we can do. Okay, and these are multi-faceted plastic beads. I've got a thing for plastic. I've got quite an ex I've got quite a little collection going on now uh, that we've done this for quite a little while now. These have a great feel. Those don't feel like kid beads to me. They feel like they have definitely some some weight in them. Um, what is going on here? What is this? Oh, it's hooked to this magnetic clasp. All right. Okay, this clasp is a little messed up. It's twisted and bent. Hmm. Okay, these are roses. And inside, uh, it's, oh, we're missing a jewel. It's not magnetic. It's very shiny. And it says, it's marked L-A-M, lamb, L-A-M. These are cute little earrings, little leaf earrings. Hmm, okay, well, since I've never heard of that, I will definitely check that out. That'd be great find if they happen to be gold. They don't say gold though, so I'm not going to hold my breath. Wow, this is tiny. I'm going to say that's going to be a little kid bangle for our kid lot. Oh, I like this color. Oh, looks broken. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're missing, this is supposed to be a double strand, but it's missing the 
the attached pieces, the clasp and whatnot. Um, you know, I may fix that or I may just harvest the beads. Those are really pretty. These, these feel like glass and maybe a nice plastic. Those are beautiful color. Put those in our need to take a look at file. Kid beads. Not magnetic. Not sure. I don't think it's silver, but we'll certainly test. I put him in the pile to test. Stretchy wooden beads. This looks like one of those latchkey kid chains. This is, oh, this is not stretchy. I'm not sure, I think this is just a bracelet because this doesn't, these don't come apart. So I'm gonna say this is a bracelet. It's an adjustable bracelet and it's marked with, Infused with energy technology. Well, that's interesting. So let's see what this says. Alex and, and Ani. Alex and Ani. Nice. Loving that. I love that motion. This looks like a fashion piece that you can slide. It's got the ends that you can slide. We have plastic gentle jack-o'-lanterns. All right. Looks like someone definitely had some, had some time. These, these little beads are a real pain to work with on a regular day, I'm going to tell you. Not when I'm having a fumble finger day. That is a very nice feel to it. Nice. It's a nice bracelet. Ooh, paper inside a bag. Ooh. Okay, well, I came shooting out. Okay. Not magnetic. Nice golden pearls. I doubt they're real. They're a little too light to be real. But these findings certainly could be gold. I'll look under a magnifying glass, under a loop. We'll do that later just to make sure. Okay, those are pretty. Let's put them in the, we need to look at those again. Let's see. A little kid bracelet. Another magnetic clasp. I like that. These are glass. It's got some nice weight to it. Nice. Okay, we definitely have some nice glass pieces. This is, okay, this is busted on the end. And looks like another magnetic clasp here. So I'll have to look and see what I can do about these, but look at these beads. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And these are some heavy glass beads, let me tell you. Nice. And these are also glass beads. Also missing part of a clasp. Okay. So this one has the actual uh, catch. Hold on, looks like maybe it's... This is... Mm, let me look again. This is tiny. I think that's J-A-R-A-N, Duran, but it has the catch on this side, but no chain on this side. But either way, look at these glass beads. These square beads are fabulous, and this orange swirl, I'll have to take a look. If he's worth fixing, I'll see about fixing him. If not, I will harvest these beads in a hot minute. Those are a uh, beautiful a uh, little wooden stretchy a uh, little wooden bangle I haven't seen one of those do 
Let's see a mark. These are the horseshoes. Ooh, okay, magnetic. Um, so we've got horseshoes and wishbones and four leaf clovers. Cute little charm bracelet. Cute. Um, these look like two little wooden with toggle closures, two little wooden bracelets. And this looks like a um, little kid fashion stretchy. These are seed beads. Probably have to take the time to kind of flatten everybody out, but I think the design looks a lot like that. All right. This end is this end is broken. Okay, the clasp is broken, but I know I can replace it. This is a lightweight plastic necklace, but it's got a great composition. I think that's worth fixing. Let's see what they got here. This is not marred, but these are stones. Nice heavy pieces. And these look like shell. So we've got stone and shell, and these certainly could be amethyst, possibly. So we will take a look at that on that side. Okay, and this guy. Not marked. Looks like glass and plastic beads. Great color composition like that one a lot. Ooh. No maker. That is one big faceted glass bead. Look at that. That is heavy with the little tassel on the end. That let's put this over here and get him scratched. I think Annie you're doing a great job. Okay, multi-strand. Uh, this, this class setup, this looks like an older or maybe it was exposed to weather, but the chain is not in great condition. Multi-strand, little red bead. It'd be great if this was coral, but I think these are just plastic. They don't have that. It doesn't have quite the right feel. This is a hefty, hefty guy. Okay, he just unhooks. So this is a nice big piece. Yeah. Hmm, doesn't stick. Nice big piece. It has rhinestones, a leather cord, and then it just catches. Hmm, I like that too. What, 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 what do we have on oh, here? Oh, dual strand, okay. Annie Smart. Rachel. Okay, it's a nice long chain. These are glass. And the tag says Rachel. So we will have to take a look and see that 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 has potential. Look at how much length. There's a lot of length on this. Okay. Hmm. Is he missing something? Oh, I bet he's missing something. Maybe. Okay, this side has, these are definitely pieces of stone. But this side has these connector bars, but this side does not, I, although I don't think there's anywhere for these to have connected. So I think this is the composition it has. And here's what it looks like flat. I know it'll be a little blurry for you, but that is quite the unique piece. Right, let's carefully put him over there. So 
guys a little bit of beading different chain it's pretty lightweight this is a fabric bracelet a little stretchy fashion bracelet this looks like wood and glass bead okay and he is inexpensive with really really lightweight charms i'm gonna say that's uh, kid kid friendly so is this very lightweight little enameled heart um, could go probably either way it was probably just sold on you know valentine's day set up um okay toggle clasp looks like uh, shell and seed bead glass seed bead with little silver stations don't see a makeup that has some pretty color that really pink more of a salmon color like that too a uh, little ex inexpensive stretch bracelet these are glass and these kind of well these don't have that oh the chatoyancy that moves that's just the color of the glass another little this is stretchy so we're going to wrap up part four uh stick with us and we'll see if we can't wrap up this box uh in part five i don't know but thank you again appreciate it we'll see you soon